for a little pill. And they tell you to drink tea, drink a lot of hot beverages. And I drank like 14 acres of tea, just a lot of tea in that week. And, and, uh, and I don't like tea. It's a, bad, it's a bad beverage. I'll tell you the problem as a beverage for tea, I think. I think tea in its heart has an identity problem because it dreams of being coffee. You know what I mean? I think, I think tea would like very much to be coffee. It, it considers itself best friends with coffee. You see it on the list, you know, hot beverages, coffee, and tea, it's right there. Just like, I'm with him, we're best friends. You know? yeah. The coffee's going, get off of me, come on, I'm gonna make a sale here. But they, and they always tell you, tea, and I, I don't know, I, I try and drink the tea. Yeah. But I've been, uh, I was, I got up, I'm back, I'm, I've been oh, working, good. been writing. What are you writing? Just a letter, I can't get it started. <laughs> You get adapter deer, you get hung up. I don't even know who to write. I have deer, and I'm going, I don't know. I must have a friend somewhere. No, I've been, uh, I've been writing a, uh, I finished writing a movie with my friend and uh, started writing a, a pilot for uh, NBC, in fact. You're great. And uh, this was scary. I've written before. This is the first time I wrote with a computer. Big mistake. Would you call them word processors? Yeah. Is that it? It's a word processor, which means it's, you're a writer, and it's still ten times more confusing. It's just... I have no idea. I shouldn't be dealing with computers. They say, you know, it's the future thing. My hope is that computers will end up like the hula hoop. That's what I'm hoping. You know, it's gone. I'm hoping there'll be an announcement in a few months. We made a mistake. Everybody go back to pencils and paper. We don't know what we were thinking. You know, just because I have, I have no ability with technical, even easy things. We got, we got a new answering machine in my house. Now, we bought an answering machine because the old one just died. After two years, answering machines just stop taking messages. They don't. They don't really break. No parts go bad. They just kind of go, hey, you get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> They just kind of get tired. Right at the end of the warranty. Yeah, right there, exactly. Yeah. So we got a new one, and this was frightening. It has, I don't know if you've seen these electronic voices in the machine. It talks to you. It's like the car seats, you know, buckle up. No. I didn't know it was in the machine. I come home, I press play messages, and it goes, hello, you have four messages. And I, I, somebody's talking to me, and I don't know who it is. Yeah. That's what, it's like a little hostile houseboy living with me now, just, <laughs> you know, with this horrible grating attitude. You know, it's angry all the time. It's like, where have you been all day? I've been taking messages since 9 o'clock. I haven't had a break. Could you please get me a cup of coffee or tea? Whatever you have. It's, it's horrible. And metallic it, voice. Yeah, metallic. Met I don't know why they design it like that. It's, it's uh, you know, I mean, it's that, this horrible grating, you know, that kind of, Phyllis Diller kind of gargling with sand thing. You don't yep. want to hear that yep. when you come home. I don't know why they picked that voice. You know, they can do anything, send a man to the moon. They can't right. get a voice that doesn't make you want to leap out the window. And uh, yeah. I don't know why. You like when you call answering machines and somebody leaves the overly cute message. You know, it's nice when you call and say, I'm out and I'll leave a message. Right. But if people have gotten into the habit of playing music. Right. Like, you know, music and the elevator you have to listen to. And they're losing friends along the way. Yeah, they're going, you know what? I have something to tell message. you, but now I'm not even going to tell you. You just yeah. hang up. I don't know why they, they can send a man to the moon and they, uh, which, I, which I don't know why I mentioned that, by the way. People, whenever any people have uh, problems with their appliances, they would somehow bring up the space program for some reason. Like they're related somehow. You know, yeah. this toaster, it breaks down, they can send a man to the moon, they can't make a toaster <laughs> that lasts more than three minutes. I don't understand the connection. I think, see, I think they would have been a lot happier, we would have been as a country happier if they had never sent anybody to the moon. Because... We couldn't complain anymore. <laughs> you know, they go, you know, this toast is a piece of junk, and I would complain, but they're working on so many other things. <laughs> I'll wait. You know, but as soon as you get a guy to the moon, could you look at this toaster? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> You're right. They blame everything on that. And I have no, so, oh, it's this computer. So I was telling, it comes with, it. Don't, don't get a computer. Stay with pencils, seriously. It comes with a 1,200 page book. Is this what they call the software, all this, or that's just the instructions? I don't know. I didn't get that far. Yeah. I think. <laughs> It's, it's the something where, it's, and you open it up, and I'm thinking, I'm, there's no way I'm going to get through 1,200 pages. In the introduction, they lost me. I had to bail out. The simplest thing said, welcome to your computer. First, I could do that. They said, first, connect the module. Check, please, module. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the television looking part or the typewriter thing? I have no idea. And then they say, my friend said, oh, you can do everything. The computer will do everything for you. So I'm, I'm thinking, well, I don't have to shower anymore? I mean, how involved does it get? It says, any, all of your household things, you can balance your checkbook. So I'm thinking, well, I'll be honest with you, that's not a big goal of mine. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Spend thousands of dollars on a computer to balance a checkbook. I, I gave up trying to balance a checkbook years ago, because you never win. Even, yeah. I mean, it's, you sit down, you have your checkbook, you have the bank statement. You go through it for a couple of hours. Say you find a mistake. Say you're short. The bank says you have $75, you think you have 100 you know what you're going to do? You're going to go, well, they're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're not for nothing, because they're a bank. That's they're right. a bank. You're a guy with a pencil going, something's wrong. You yeah. know, it's just... <laughs> and I don't know how a, how a computer would help me any better, you know, because yeah. I can add. I just can't remember. 
I want a computer that I can press a button and say, what the hell did I buy for $130 on the 25th? You know, I want... <laughs> I must have hit the wrong button because I heard a little voice go, you bought an answering machine. I, you know, some sort of... <laughs> they got crossed or something. That's funny. You know what it is? Do you... Do you... I think you're just a little too old for computers. Kids, they take kids exactly. now, five years old, and they're running programs, and they're communicating with each other. It comes easy. I don't think that's right. I think they should be slapped around and then just uh, <laughs> write a letter, yeah. write a nice write letter. Write a letter, I will, I you will. But see, actually, the thing is, what, the only way you can feel good about it, I've learned, is to find somebody who knows a little bit less, because there's always somebody who is, you know, behind you in technology. This is where my parents come in very handy, because yep. they're like around 1840 now, technologically. <laughs> <They're> just... <laughs> I mean, they get, the VCR is still giving me a hard time. My, <clears throat> my parents, they get amazed when it works. You know, you know, last time you were on Johnny Carson, we taped it. I go, yeah, and it came out. I said, well, it's supposed to go. We never heard of that before. It actually was there. <laughs> and Do it, they know anything about Corvettes and a clock? <laughs> I mean, do you know anything about a Corvette and a clock? You're on your own. Just I'm waiting, wait. I'm waiting for the spring again, just, Absolutely. you know, to set it. Absolutely. We have to do this first. We'll do it and come back. Okay. Stay where you are.